Hi there, I'm Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something um, that's combining Disney and planning. So it's a little bit for everyone today, for those of you who love Disney and trip planning and for those of you who just love the planning side of things. Today, as I film this video, we have exactly 100 days left till we leave for our trip. We are so excited, but I'm really behind with setting up my planner. I've been using my planner, but um, I haven't actually set it up, so it's not running as smoothly as it could be. I'm going to show you my planner system and how they work. Basically, these are my planners that I use for when we are going on a big trip. They are from Paper Chase and I really, really love them. This is now one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. I've got five on the go, or from previous trips as well. So this was ours from last year, here. So I like to buy a different design each time, and I'm very picky with the type of planner that I have, and it has to be one of these from Paper Chase. I like it because it has the elastic around the front to keep it all in and it's got a good strong cover but I also like it it's got nice lined pages inside and what I like it's got separated pockets and it's also got plastic pockets that are dividers inside and at the back there's also a zip pocket so as you can see here I've put some notes and I've also got, I print off coupons to take when we get um, sort of nearer the time. So it's a really, really handy book. There's loads of space. I've never ran out of space. And it's not too big. I do have a big A5 Simple Stories planner, but that's just too big to take in my hand luggage. It's too heavy and I don't need that great big bulk. Whereas this, I start from the moment we start planning and I keep it all the way through the trip, but it's not too big just to pop inside my hand luggage. And it really is my holiday Bible. Um, I can't go without this. It's got everything I need in there. And I'm going to go through this with you and show you exactly how and why I use it. So I always start up um, on the front page there. This is last year's, um, so it's a good example to show you. Um, exactly what I've booked and then what I've paid so far and as I book things I put the date exactly what I've booked and how much I've paid and then how much is left to pay I always add that as well and um, it's just a really good way to do it and then what I do is nearer the time I then start highlighting when there's things still left to be paid actually this is quite a good, good example here so I'd obviously paid a deposit for the Royal Pacific at Universal, but we couldn't actually pay the remainder until we checked in. So it was highlighted, so I knew that was still outstanding, and then I knew the exact amount I needed to pay when we arrived. I also add any reference numbers that I need, and that was the second page of everything booked and paid for. And then on this next page, nearer the time, I start to write out a list of to-dos. And again, I highlight them as I do them. So the opposite way, actually. So like setting up the sat-nav, that's something that we do nearer the time. Make sure all the zip codes are pre-loaded into the sat-nav so there's nothing left to do. Some of the things you can't do until nearer the time, like Disney Fast Passes, for example, they can't be done until just before you go. Um, but other things you can book beforehand. And for example, then I've got the date here when we booked. We like to book the... Um, Getaway Glen, the Typhoon Lagoon Umbrellas, and so I've put the date there that I booked it. I also create little sections in my books. I will show you how I'm going to do that because I need to do that in my next one. So at the front here, I've got the plans, and then we go to trip details. I've got ideas in here, things we would like to do. Just maybe some of the things that we haven't done but that we fancy. I've then also got here all the zip codes and what we do is as I program them I highlight them in so I write everything down and they get highlighted as they go in. So this was last year's. I also have a section for itineraries and any uh, fast passes and um, Disney dining reservations that we need to make. They all get listed here. I have food a food section here. These are wish lists for um, these are ones in particular are for Disney parks, things that we either one haven't tried or two always try and we can't miss. 
and a few more this next section I've got important things I've got like friends and family um, addresses some people we still send traditional postcards to and then I also keep a note of um, bank numbers for example um, any credit cards if they were to go missing numbers to call and important things like that I also keep detail of our um, health insurance for travel insurance for when we go uh, we have a playlist section this is all the music each year we've always put together CDs to take with us although as things are now um, it's all done by Bluetooth so it makes life so much easier and in fact I don't think we're running off CDs this year for the first time um, and Louis is taking charge of the playlist he wants to be in charge of the music so I think he's got Apple Play that um, and each time we hear a song or something um, he's adding it to his list a very important section in the planner is obviously the shopping list one of the things we love about the States um, I like to have a shopping list for the first shop on arrival and then, um, for example, last time was a split stay, so we started off in hotels and then we went to the villa. So um, we had, obviously, a separate shopping list for that. I then also have another list for the things that I want to bring home. And then gifts to bring home as well. Then this very messy page is shopping before we go. This is obviously most things here have been crossed off. So this is my list before we go. It can be anything from toiletries um through to tea bags things like that obviously we can't go without our tea bags then next come the packing lists i really need to do an actual excel sheet or something because obviously they're pretty much the same every single time but um i'm still old-fashioned and i do like to have it written down in a book and it's always worked for me we have a kitchen list we have our bathroom kids bathroom and um i also then keep obviously a techie list um that's needing to print off things there and then other stuff and bits and pieces like that i do separate our packing if we're staying for example the, the last year's trip we had four nights at universal and then six nights at disney before we went on to the villa and i do pack the luggage separately and um, i do still put them over separate bags but for example i wouldn't I didn't need the Disney things when we arrived at Universal, so they went in a completely separate bag altogether. Then each of us has our own packing lists. And then a few weeks beforehand, I start with the serious to-do list. So this was three weeks to go, and just basic things that we need to do, things like clearing the camera cards ready to take, scanning documents, and things like that. And then I tick off as I go. And I continue them every few days, uh, crossing things off right up until we go and then at the very very back of the book I list all the savings now obviously when you're doing a big trip the saving part is really important um, I have been asked before about how we save for trips and somebody even left me a comment asking what my husband and myself do in order to um, afford these trips and we both have well this is my job <laughs> and my husband has a very normal job but it all comes down to good saving and um, I think actually since we've been doing our Florida trips which started in 2007 that's what's taught us how to save if you would be interested in a separate video on different techniques to save and different ways how we save we have many of them um, do let me know and I would do a video for you because I find that kind of thing really interesting and I'm always interested to hear how other people save for their trips and things they do because these trips aren't cheap they're really expensive but there are ways to make them more affordable or not just affordable but different ways to save for example I always use Quidco um, it's a cashback system and I make or oh, I get so much cashback and I never knew about it until another Florida friend told me so do let me know if that's of interest to you and I will do another video but at the back of this book it's basically all our savings listed so I can see exactly what we've got where and that includes various bank accounts it includes piggy banks <laughs> we still have piggy banks and they get counted up and also the kids spending money so I list things as and when they get and also us as well when we get birthday gifts in dollars and things like that that all gets listed in the book so I know exactly where we are so that was last year's book I've got the other year's book as well I do always keep the other books I know I don't need them but it's really nice to look back on and compare it's handy when you are 
planning a trip because you can see other things you've done plus also it could be that we haven't visited somewhere for a few years and then I've got the details to go back on and see the cheapest websites where I booked it and things like that and it's just a really good way to compare and also compare prices as well um, it is quite interesting looking back it's almost like a little bit of a holiday journal I've just realized that this year's book wasn't in my pile so this is this year's book um, it reminds me of Florida I like this design and I always keep a pen in the in the binder bit there so it's always easy to write things down I am behind I am writing things down um, things are always written down and crossed off but I haven't got my sections done so that's what I'm going to be doing today before I start working on the sections I've actually just made a note of every little section that I have so I know exactly how many sections I need to create. It just makes life easier rather than having to go back and add more. To create the little tabs at the top, I've got a tab top stamp here. These are something I sell on my site and I will link up below. Um, they're not very expensive. They're $2.99 which includes delivery. And all you need is an ink pad and cardstock, staple gun and pen. And that's it and scissors to cut them out. <laughs> they get placed on an acrylic block. If you don't have an acrylic block, you can also use an old CD cover or DVD cover and use that. They stick to it quite nicely. So I need 14 different sections. So I need to print 14 of these. So I've got them all and now I'm just going to grab my scissors and cut them out. Obviously this doesn't have to be just for Disney trips. It can be for any type of holiday. Anything where you're organising and you need different sections, this will work really, really well. So I've written on in different colours just so things stand out. And uh, it's just easier to write on the sheet before you cut them out. And I always stamp a couple of extra because I always end up making a mistake. So all my little tabs are cut out now and I need to staple them into my book. Ta-da! My book is all done complete with tabs. And you can just see them. I've tried to alternate them so that they're nice and easy to use and read. And then I've got our each individual packing sections. The tabs are at the side and it's just a simple staple on the top of each section and now each section is nice and easy to find in case you're wondering what that one is we're planning on going to some walking dead filming locations which we're very excited about and obviously the orlando section I feel so much more organised now that I've got my planner set up. I know I had all the information in there anyway, but it's just so much easier for me to find. I was wanting to make or add something to one of the packing lists the other day, and it was taking me ages to go through to find the page, so I feel really organised now. Um, please do tell me how you plan for your trips. I would love to know. I'll show you the other thing I have, actually. Um, I print everything off. And it goes in here, all the flight information, any um, confirmation like car hire, hotel information. I have printed maps. We've had it before where we've gone on a road trip and the sat nav froze. And uh, I know actually saying that these days we have phones, which we didn't have back then. But um, so I print things off like that. I have everything I need, copies of our driving licenses, copies of passports, things like that all goes in here. So um, this is my other planner. Um, but these are very important to me when I travel. Please tell me how you plan your trips. I would really like to know. And let me know if you would like a money saving video as well as I've got lots of tips and tricks on how we save. Um, it certainly makes life easier. I hope you've enjoyed this video and like I said before this isn't just for Disney planning it can be for any kind of trip we've done non Disney trips before and I've still planned in exactly the same way so any questions any suggestions or just tell me how you do yours I would love to know please leave a comment below and please do subscribe if you enjoy any type of planning or Disney trips or anything like that as I have lots of this type of video Thank you very much and I will see you soon. Bye!